Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about setting the build plate on the 3D printer and running the test files that came with the LA Goo Mars Pro 2. In my last video, I did an unboxing. I'll provide a link here where you can view that video. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay. Okay. Alright, I put a black bag on it because I don't want it to get any dust. So let's go ahead and take this off. Alright. The reason the wrapper's not on it is because I tried to go ahead and set the build plate previously, but I was spending a lot of time reading the user manual. And it took me a couple hours to figure that out. But I'm not going to read the manual. I'll spare you that. But go ahead and remove all the wrappers that are on your 3D printer. Alright. Done. Peel off this extra protective layer. I think it fits. Alright, I mean, I have it on now. So, see how that feels. Yep. There we go. Let's go ahead and power on the 3D printer. I'm going to just remove the cover. Let's go ahead and plug in this power cord. Got a little blue light on it. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it on. There we go. It has a pretty nice um, interface, but we can go ahead and click on tools. And what we want to do is we're gonna set the Z axis. So before we set the Z axis over here, we're gonna go ahead and remove the resin tank. We're going to go ahead and set the build plate. And to do that, you're going to need an A4 paper, basically a sheet of paper. We're going to go ahead and slide it underneath the build plate and the 2K LCD screen, like this. So now we're going to need some tools. And we're going to loosen this up. Loosen it up. Alright. There you go. Do you see how that the build plate dropped? That means now it, it, it can move around. That's good. You want it to be able to move around. And this is how we're going to set our build plate. We're going to loosen the screws and we're just going to try to get it lined up. Now that we have loosened it and the build plate can move around, while it's tight. Let's go ahead and look at the interface. I'm going to go ahead and click on tools. We're going to go to manual. And then you're going to click the home button. There. Okay. 
Yeah. It's going straight down. Alright, it's going to go up and down a couple times and then stop. This is where I will align it and then tighten the screws. So let's go ahead and see if it's let's go see if it's uh, see how it fits. I'll pull this up so I can see if it's along the edge or not. So yeah, this looks this looks pretty good. Okay. Just gotta press it down a little bit. I just gotta make sure this is aligned straight. Straightly aligned. And it looks good to me. So always tighten the first one on the front first. You wanna press down, hold it while you tighten it, right? Because it's it'll move a little bit. So we'll tighten the first one. Alright. Now we tighten the one on the side, which will be Alright, now that, now that we got it nice and tight, it should be level. Mm, I can't tight it anymore, so there, that's good. Now we want to check to see if the paper slides out, which it, it doesn't. So what we'll do is, we're going to go ahead and adjust that. We're going to select the .1 mm and hit the up arrow to go up. Now, without effort, it slides very easily, which is good. This is exactly what we want. So before we do anything else, we'll go ahead and go to the back button. And we're going to go ahead and hit the set Z equals zero. This is going to say this is the best position, zero position for the Z axis. And it says right here. Set this position as the Z equals zero. Continue and you hit confirm. All right, now we're done. We have set the Z equals zero. We've programmed it. Now we can go ahead and change it to 10 mm. And go ahead and we're gonna lift it up several times lift the build plate back up we can go ahead and take out our piece of paper and we can put the resin tank back on once it's high enough go ahead and slide your resin tank back on and we can go ahead and tighten our screws now we're going to test the UV light we're going to go ahead and click on exposure I put here 15 seconds and click next and you can go ahead and see that the screen is working the entire screen is working great yep that looks perfect so so at least I know the UV lights working so no concerns there we should have a good print All right, exposure complete. So let's go ahead and now look at the test files.